Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, how to use uh, uh, trend lines uh, to focus the price action in the financial market like God. Yes, like God. So you may be wondering, George, what that, what God has got to do with the financial market. Before we get into all kind of uh, disagreements, all right, uh, very often when we use the word God, traders say that that is uh, a blasphemy. I would like to remind traders that uh, personally I do believe in God. Some people do not believe in God, uh, that's their choice. But uh, when we are using the word like God, uh, we want to talk about uh, precisely. Uh, most importantly, no one knows okay, what is will have what will happen in the future all right so when we are talking about market forecast and no one can forecast the market accurately uh, consistently therefore uh, we can see that like god god help us to forecast the market accurately whether you believe in god or not all right you may still watch this tutorial I hope you like the title, all right? It's the title is to draw your attention as a YouTube creator. We are doing everything so traders may pay attention to our video and watch it, all right? So don't worry too much about it, all right? So how to use a trend line, how to use trend lines to forecast the price action in a financial market like God, all right? So here we are, so the financial instrument that we are looking at uh, is a uh, very difficult name. It's now incorporated, is that correct pronunciation? All right, let us know. Uh, the EPIC is uh, A-E-T, belonging to the healthcare sector, all right? So we want to demonstrate or share with traders how one can use a trend line uh, to forecast uh, the price action in the financial market like God, precisely, accurately. Right? That's what we mean by like God, okay? So what we need to do, we need to draw the trend line first. So, uh, it, need, it has to be a significant trend line, a high impact trend line, either on the monthly chart, quarterly chart, or yearly chart. So with those the two point on my chart, I was able to draw that trend line. I'm going to color it now into red so you can all see it on your chart all right the next thing that you need to do is uh, to measure the depth of the price action below that trend line so you can see the price deep change direction here below okay that trend line i measure that depth right here all right and again here the price did uh, okay change direction here below that trend line I measure the depth of that uh, okay price action from the trend line to that uh, turning point here and I did the same thing here and here those are what we call our measuring stick uh, with the trend line uh, to focus the financial market like God all right so what we're going to do we're going to start projecting those measuring stick above our trend line now one more thing I need to clarify with trading when you are drawing those lines to measure the depth it has to be vertical right? beautifully vertical like this right? that's what I've done here and when we are projecting it it has to be also vertical right? very very important point now talking about market forecast is not an exact science that's what we are talking about like gold right? it's an expectation so when you are using this uh, think of it that the question we are asking is that can we work with this can this be useful to us in a financial market can this help us to have a bit of idea what is likely to take place in the near future or in the long term if the answer is yes then we can use it all right that's it so very often when traders uh, are buying or using a trading system, they are expecting a trading system uh, to be accurate 100%. Now, we can use any trading system if that trading system can perform, uh, can give us a winning rate of 60%. 
even 50%, we can work with that, but preferably 60%. So talking about uh, this strategy, using a trend line to forecast the market like gold, we can work with it. It can help us, this is the most important thing, to have a bit of idea what is likely to take place in a financial market. If you are a new trader and you watch this video, you say, oh, I've never seen anything like this. George, this is very, very powerful. Don't get carried away. Don't get too excited. Don't use it as an exact science. Don't bang on it, all right? Just know that it's a tool that we use uh, to help us to, to have a bit of idea what is likely to happen in a financial market. Sometimes it will work beautifully, sometimes or the price may print something else out, but we just need to follow the price. So after we have forecast what is likely to take place, we just sit back and wait for the price to confirm our expectation. Uh, if the price is doing something else, well, we follow the price. Very, very important. So once you project those uh, measure stick above the trend line, the next step is to draw another trend line that is parallel to the first one here. So the red one is the first one. So at the top of this measuring stick, I'm drawing a line that is parallel to the red one right there. All right. So you can see clearly that if you did that, okay, am I doing it properly here? You can see that if you did that, all right, so if you want to make sure it's fully totally parallel, you can just move the line like this and see, okay, same, okay, width all over the place. So now, so as the price breaks above that trend line, our first target is that one here because there is a, a theory that stated that what has happened below is likely to happen above. And this is true in the financial market. Now you remember before I was saying to you what has happened in the past is likely to happen in the future. There is nothing new in the financial market, all right? Okay, so what has happened before is likely to happen again. So we talk about fractal pattern, predictive fractal pattern. Uh, this is about the power using the past uh, to forecast, okay, the future. Now, again, uh, you can see that the behavior of the price below that trend line, we are using that behavior below the price action uh, to, to forecast what is likely to happen above that trend line. There's something to do with a new turn above and below. All right, so a quite exciting subject, but as I told you already, don't get carried away, don't get too excited. It's a very exciting subject, but okay, play with it, all right, and see what that can do for you. So I'm drawing another line uh, this time. On top of my second measuring stick, I'm drawing another line that is parallel to my red line. So let's move this one to make sure it's truly, truly parallel, yes. Is parallel, it's beautiful, so I leave it there. All right, beautiful. So let's try to put a bit of color into it so you can see exactly what is happening here. Color the first one into pink, here it is. Uh, the second one, let's color it uh, into orange, and here we are. And we have okay, two new trend lines. Now, there is another one here, this one here. Let's try to draw it also. It's quite close to this one here, but uh, okay. I'm talking about this one instead, this one. It's quite close to the orange one here. But if you want, we can draw it also and see whether it can be useful to us uh, to focus the price, okay? All right, is it parallel? We're talking about this one. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. Are you with me? Do you understand what we are doing here? We are drawing a line to the top of the measuring stick uh, so that it is parallel okay, to the red line. So, okay, we finish with this one. So, we leave it here. What I will do also, I will match the color. Okay. So, the first one we use this one, I'll match uh, the color that measuring stick also into pink. So, you know, okay. Uh, which one is which, okay? All right, so the, the orange one is this one here. Stay with me, please, as I'm playing with the colors here. All right, and now we have our color, this one now, into dark green. Beautiful color, dark green. And I'll color this one also into dark green. That's the measuring stick. So what we are doing, we are using what has happened below that trend line to forecast what is likely to happen 
above <laughs> that trend line. You see, we can do a lot of things with the trend line. Very simple tool, but very powerful. Traders that have been following us know that I say this all the time, but allow me to say this to new traders. Uh, when I start trading first, I do not draw my trend line. I don't know why. All right. I know that I should draw them, but I don't draw it at all. And uh, until finally, one day, all right, it was clear to me. And I said to myself, before I was blind, now I can see. <laughs> all right. So I, here we are. I'm running out of color now. Use black now for the last one here. And that's it. We are ready now uh, to start uh, forecasting the market using the trend line like God himself. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So that's it. So we've done it now with our whole way. So you may be wondering, Joe, when can I draw? Uh, when can I start focusing the market? So you want to find a significant trend line where the price dwell below it for a while. So you can see here, uh, I'm on the monthly chart. It dwell below that red trend line since uh, 2006 up to 2015. So this is a significant high impact trend line. This is why you are looking for. Look for a trend line where the price dwell below it for some time, long time. All right. You can use this on the hourly time frame, or the two hour time frame, or the four hour time frame, or daily chart on any time frame. You want the price to dwell longer below a specific trend line, and as you break above it, now you are starting to project. Okay, you measure the diesel like I did here, and you project it up to to to. To have a bit of a year where the price is likely to turn around all right so let's pay attention to the first one here the pink one that's the first one that we'll be watching as the price breaks above here we'll be watching the pink one yes or no all right we'll be watching the pink one uh, we'll be watching the orange one after that and uh, so on and so on so those lines are there so here it is look the price came to that pink line look the reaction there look at that first time is that doji yes did the market acknowledge that pink line yes all right. So is that uh, pink line useful for us? Yes. So at that point in time, we'll be saying priority to bullish signal above the pink line and priority to bearish signal below it. Yes or no? So here we see that doji will be ready. So that doji must close. If you're on any time frame, you say now what I'm saying that you look for candlestick pattern, look for bearish chart pattern, look for a trading setup, okay? Look for high probability trading setup on the edge of uh, that uh, trend line of those uh, trend line monitor the reaction of the price as the price is approaching any of those uh, okay forecasting uh, uh, trend line that's what i'm saying yeah. so at this point in time we know that okay there is a high chance because of what has happened below is likely to happen above that if the price reach this level it may find a resistance yeah it did find a support now when we go above we will be expecting a resistance yes or no so here we are, we see that doji is closed, so we'll be ready in ourselves to sell, yes or no, if there is a sell signal. Look at the following sell, second tendency bar, no signal to sell. It breaks above it, look what it did, it crashed through it, blah, 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 before it came above it. So do you think that that uh, trail line was useful for us? So if you did buy above the red trail line, so it's here, you, break, you, buy, you buy here, Will that pink trend line be useful to you uh, to control your trade? Yes, you will be prepared to secure your gain. You know that there is a resistance there. You know that there is a target there. And you will be monitoring the price here. You can tell your client, if you have one, all right, and say, all right, ladies and gentlemen, all right, if the price continues to go up, it has a high chance to stop in this zone here. Will that be a useful forecast or a good advice for your client? If you are a, a, a professional, okay, financial advisor, all right, it will be. So you say to your client, be careful. Time to secure your gain. Bank some profit. It may come down if you reach this level. Your client will see that and say, well, that's very good forecast. Yes or no? Okay, so the pink one has been useful for us. Look recently, the price breaks above it here. Recently, the price breaks above that pink line, pink line and I retest it here. And the final support is that pink trend line useful to us? Yes. Did we forecast the market like God? Almost. <laughs> Almost. We are not God. <laughs> Almost. Okay. So because he hit it here, you see the reaction here. Okay. So let's pay attention to the black one. Okay. Here it is. Now the price breaks above the pink one. We'll be saying to people, all right, be careful. There is a target here. The price may find a resistance there. Look. The black one has been very beautiful. 
Have you done martial art? The black belt has been very, very useful. Try pierce through it. People, there were sellers there, bo, and he crashed there, found a resistance there. So, will you agree with me for the first time in your life? I always say this if you are new to us, all right, that that, okay, measuring stick here, what has happened below here, is also happening here above. Will you agree that we have used, okay, a trend line to focus the market like gold? So, at this point in time, if you were here, or probably you were using this strategy for the first time you say okay george uh, i never trust any of your strategy before but i want to give this one a chance and try it all right so for the first time you say all right george i'll use your method and you try it, and it work beautiful at like this you will say george this is truly truly like god yes or no but as, as you can see here it didn't come down as we expected it this is what we are talking about but here we have okay uh, the reaction price came down as it was here, he found a support, here he found a resistance. So the black line has been very, very useful for us. And not only once, look at the second time. He come back again, talk and see about, phew, resistance again for the second time. Look, third time again, here. Okay? Now, let's pay attention to the to the green one after the black uh, trend line you see here so probably when above the, 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 the green one we can say that it has also been useful to us here so when we have a two or three or if you have two or more okay trend line that are quite close to each other we need to monitor the reaction of the price so you will consider it as a zone so you see those are the orange uh, green and black they are almost in the same zone so we know that this zone the far the price will find it quite difficult to break through because the resistance are quite close to each other so you say to uh, your if you are a professional uh, okay advisor you say to your client the financial market at uh, this zone uh, we are likely to see a resistance uh, the market may find it quite challenging uh, to cross this level or it may slow down or consolidate uh, before coming out so you may say to people it's time to hold it's time to hold all right or secure your gains or cash out because we have three okay a uh, target level the four the first forecast is the black one the second forecast the green one and the the, 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 the orange one is the third forecast using that trail line alone just this red trail line allow us to focus that zone Again, here, look at the green one here. Price, you see, after it breaks a little bit above the black one, is the green one. Again, look at this candlestick bar. You want above it? The green one. Yes or no? All right. So you may notice that the, the orange one was quite exact. Yes or no? <laughs> look how the price stopped exactly or the orange one. So you are talking about the deepest end of what has happened before. The deep, so pay attention to the deepest end. All right. That orange forecast using that trend line like God, if you agree, yeah, has been exactly on the spot like God. All right, so if you are aggressive, uh, okay, or a bit uh, enthusiastic or confident in market participant, you say that the price, the market will change direction at this point in time. You will tell people that the market will change direction in a zone of uh, $134.90 or this stock, it now. Incorporated is a correct pronunciation. Will find a resistance at one three four nine zero. If you have the courage to say that, and it happened, people will be scared of you. They will say, "Where did you get that? How did you calculate that?" But all you did, you just uh, okay, use a simple principle in the financial market. That what has happened below a trend line is likely to happen above it. Where the price did find a support before you project it up, the price is likely to find a resistance right there. All right, so you may say to me, John, where are we headed now? Now, now that you see we don't have any more target here, we can start projecting channel. We can project the, uh, this one here, you see, this measure and stick, keep projecting it, keep projecting. You see here, we project this, uh, the measure and stick on the peak one, you can just keep projecting, switch into, so if you don't have any more focus, use market geometry, project it. So the, second, the first projection bring us to the green line, and we project it one more time. And then we can start doing it one more time again. Will you believe it? That's it. There. That's where we are again now. Uh, from the green to the green, that's it. All right. So let me know whether this is uh, like God or not. All right. <laughs> and how to use a 
Reliance to forecast the financial market uh, like God. This is based on a simple principle, uh, something to do with uh, Isaac Newton, that what has happened below is likely to happen above. What has happened in heaven shall happen on the earth. What has happened on the earth can happen also in heaven. Okay, so heaven and earth in unity. Will you agree with that? Okay, so I leave it to you to, to comment, okay, in the comment section. If you, you don't believe in God, we respect that your decision, that's your decision not to believe in God. Some people do believe in God. You may say, Yo, you always talk about God. Understand that as a used to creator, we use a title to get the attention of traders. And also personally, I explain it to you, whenever I use the word like God, it's not a blush for me. It's uh, to say precisely, accurately, and so on, and so on. All right? So if you if you have any question or suggestion, put in the comment section and in, in due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. Or if you have a similar strategy like this, or you think that we can improve this strategy, let us know in the comment section and we keep the discussion going and we may record a more uh, video. To summarize uh, this uh, discussion today about uh, how to use uh, trade lines to forecast uh, the financial market, uh, to, to forecast the price action in the financial market like gold, we are looking first for a significant trend line where the price did dwell below that trend line for a while. On the monthly chart, we prefer many years, okay? Okay, we can apply this on a daily chart, on a weekly chart. So we will on a daily chart we will say many days, all right, all right, or many weeks below the daily chart trend line. Or if you are using uh, okay the hourly time frame trend line, significant trend line, or two hour time frame or four hour time frame uh, trend line, we want the price to do well below that uh, hourly or two hour or four hour time frame be, for many days, all right, something like that. And uh, as soon as the price breaks above that trend line we start measuring okay uh, the depth of okay the turning point to the trend line and once we have done it we project them up above that trend line and we draw a line that is parallel to the first trend line and we just draw them as i did here we are not assuming anything we are not uh, gambling my friend we just want to have a bit of idea where the price is likely to turn around so the strategy is very simple we are looking for a trading setup in the vicinity of our forecast if there is a trading setup we say priority to bullish signal above and priority to bearish signal below if there is a trading setup the next step as always like a pro we will use okay a multiple time frame trading method so if you say to be george i don't want to use a multiple time frame trading method i will say to you at least use two time frame don't just buy or sell hoping that because probably you have tried one or three times and it has worked beautifully so you start thinking that oh it will work all the time there's nothing like that in the financial market we are talking about probability and we are talking about risk control using multiple time frame trading method like a pro this will conclude our discussion today about how to use trend lines to forecast the price action in the financial market like God. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about how to use trend lines to forecast the price action in the financial market like God. Happy to to you all and speak to you. Es schön. Zimmer.